Hi, I'm Lisa Hayden with Channel 6 Central Kentucky TV, community focus on Washington County. And we are delighted to have with us today Sarah White Burns. I said that correctly. Yes. And uh, who is, was the Women's, uh, the Business and Professional Women's Club Woman of the Year. Congratulations on that award. Thank you. And we've been trying to get you on the show for a while uh, since it's been a few months since you received that award. Uh, but being a teacher, mm -hmm. it's hard to get you, uh, you know, teachers can't just leave the <laughs> office when they want. <laughs> They're in the classroom all day. And thank you for being a teacher because that's certainly a very important uh, profession and we uh, we're happy to have you in that field glad you could be with us today and the Springfield Business and Professional Women's Club honors women every year during National BPW week and here in Springfield we uh, honor these women and you're having received the woman of the year tell me what that award is that is for a woman in the BPW club who has done a lot for the club just in that past year. Yeah, yeah. So now your mother, I mean your mother, you're, listen to me. She might, she, <laughs> she might as well you, be. She might as well be. Uh, your aunt, Jenny White Shotsky, mm -hmm. who was the president of the club for two years, and has been very active in the club since she moved back to Springfield, and we're happy about that. Uh, she, of course, encouraged you to become a member. Mm -hmm. About seven years ago. Yeah. Has it been that long? I think so. Wow. Yeah. Ever you were since just I went to my first wine tasting, so. <laughs> <laughs> so when you just first turned 21. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so, and, so uh, right. yeah. And so we, and you have always helped with the wine tasting mm -hmm. since the since you were twenty one, yep. <laughs> and uh, and 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 golly, I don't know what we would do without your help and all of your family's help. All the whites chip in a lot of time and um, uh, work during that during that event, which of course is our very our big fundraiser and successful and provides a lot of scholarships to young women. But in addition to you helping with that, uh, you have uh, chaired the Aspiring Young Woman Program. Aspiring Professionals. Thank you. Yes. Aspiring Professionals. Mm -hmm. And tell me about that. That's where, um, I can't remember the age range. I think it's between age 18 to like 40 maybe people who are just getting started in their career who want to build their public speaking skills and their interview skills because they give a speech for about three minutes, I think, based on whatever the topic is for that year for the whole state. And after they give a speech, they do an interview process. Yeah. So it yeah. helps hone in your skills right. as a new person in your career. Yeah, yeah. As I mentioned, we used to call it the uh, young, y careerist. young careerist. Mm -hmm. And um, so you, you have taken charge of that program, not only on the local level in our club, but also on the state level. I did that last year. Yeah. Yeah, but was that the first year you did it, or did you help with that before? Mm. Or w I wasn't the chair before, but I helped a little. Okay. But last year I ran the whole thing. Yeah, yeah. And so these, these the women, uh, the young woman that are young careerists or that wins or from, from, from that club mm -hmm. goes on to compete on the, the regional level. Regional level. And then the top two from the region go to state. Yeah, yeah. And so that's, that's a wonderful program and gives women an opportunity, as you say, to hone their skills, their, their speaking uh, skills and leadership skills. 
So thank you for uh, taking charge of that. And uh, and I and I know there have been other things as well, Sarah, that uh, you you have done to to receive this award. Not last year, but the year before, I was in charge of the state Facebook page. Okay. Um. I don't know. Whatever they ask me to do, I'll just say mm -hmm. okay. <laughs> so, yeah. Oh. But this year, I am the executive assistant to the president. Okay. So I'm pretty much just whatever she needs me to do, I'll do it for. Her. To the state president. Mm -hmm. Okay. Well, that's that's a big job then. Yeah. Oh yeah. I carry all her boxes around and go get her a drink when she needs one. <laughs> <laughs> I organize her papers, you know. I imagine you have a lot, though. To, there's probably some stuff to do online and reports, mm -hmm. and there's always a lot of reports, it seems. Yeah. yeah. So, uh, well, that is um, very good. And so, who knows, you might be state president next, Sarah. Mm, not next. <laughs> <laughs> or how about the um, chair of the wine tasting. Mm, maybe not. Oh. <laughs> I'll keep helping though. Yeah. It's a lot to run the whole thing by yourself. Yeah, yeah. It is, it I've is. I've seen Jenny do it. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, and I did it for 10 years before oh she gosh. got here. <laughs> wow. Yeah. I, uh, I actually started that. So, and it's grown a lot. And yeah, that's our only fundraiser. That's our only fundraiser, and that's why we started it, because we, you know, we wanted just one big fundraiser every year that all of the members could be a part of mm -hmm. and help with. And it takes every member to uh, pull this thing off and others besides. A lot of ladies and gentlemen in the community help mm -hmm. as well, volunteer their time and skills to keep to get that uh, uh to keep it going yeah but it's successful yeah it, and that yeah. was the reason i joined bpw was for the scholarships yeah and that we give back to the community that was another thing i did last year i've been for the past two years i've been in charge of the distinguished young women scholarship oh okay where okay. the girls yeah. do a be your best self night with like i think it's second grade through fifth grade girls and they learn a dance and they learn all the aspects of being your best self, like being studious and being healthy, things like that. Uh -huh. And then they write a report based on what they learned or how it affected them. And then we'll give a scholarship from the wine tasting money to one of the ladies at Distinguished Young Women. Yeah, yeah. That is, that's, that's really good. But now... You said second through fifth graders. That um, they do. They go up and shadow the young careerists. The distinguished young women. Distinguished yes. young, mm -hmm. distinguished young women. Yeah. So they go up and shadow them, and you've been in charge of all of that. Not the whole thing. Just the you write the essay about it and tell me what you learned or how it affected you, and then we will give you a scholarship based on your writing and your ability to express yourself through your writing and mm -hmm. I mean it's honing in your skill for writing for other scholarships. Yeah. I and remember I, in high school I had to write a lot to get scholarships. So uh -huh, uh -huh. It's a practice because it's their junior year of high school. <laughs> right, right, right. Yeah, so they need to get acclimated to that, that's mm -hmm. for sure. Right. And um, yeah, so you've really done a lot of uh, a lot of volunteer things in the club and to uh, not only on the local level but state level and that takes a lot of people don't realize how time consuming mm -hmm. that can be and so not only are you doing that but you're a full-time uh, teacher yep. out at North Washington mm -hmm. what what grade second grade second grade yeah yep. and you're married and have a husband yep. Matthew. Matthew Burns. I uh, have to tend to him sometimes. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> and he's really good about helping uh, with the wine mm -hmm. tasting. Yep. <laughs> yeah. He helps every year. Yeah. <laughs> so I think that you're quite deserving on that award. And, um, and you know, you have your uh, father that comes and, and helps as well. Mm -hmm. You have to mention uh, Keith. Because uh, 
he d I mean Keith does a lot of things in the community mm -hmm. and 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 you girls his uh, one two three daughters uh, keep him busy mm -hmm. with a lot of your activities so he always comes to your aid if needed right yes <laughs> and 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 then uh, um, you have uh, your now your sister Sarah is also I mean Sarah your sister Ashley is also there I go again I'll be calling you <laughs> Ashley and I'll be calling uh, uh, Ashley Sarah yep. I do that all the time <laughs> that's okay and uh, so but Ashley is a club member as mm -hmm. well and uh, so we need, if you know, talking here, what would you say to uh, women in the community your age um, that would encourage them to become members of the uh, Springfield Business and Professional Women's Club or, or of a club elsewhere? Well... <laughs> If you live it, here, I would join the one in Springfield because it does give back to the women in our community. And it's, we give scholarships for everyone, even if you are a non-traditional student or an older student. Mm -hmm. And our focus is to give back to the community, and that's why I joined. Yeah, yeah. So we need more people like you, Sarah, and you're certainly an inspiration and a um, role model for others and uh, you, you, you'll have to start talking to those little second graders <laughs> about uh, becoming a professional uh, uh, young woman and participating in our club. Mm -hmm. Yeah, get them started early. <laughs> so uh, is there anything that you would like to say before we end this interview? Mm -hmm. I don't think so. I think we covered everything I did in the past year. You yeah. reminded me of some things, so thank you. Yeah, yeah. Well, I know you're always you're always there and always participating, and so I think you're uh, uh, well deserving of that award. Yeah, and um, lots of good things uh, going for you, and I expect uh, uh, you'll be. Uh, president of our club <laughs> soon. <laughs> and who knows, chairing that wine tasting, don't, don't discount it. I'll help, but that's a big job. <laughs> you, you can do it. You can do it. So, and you've got the help of all your family and your aunt. So, <laughs> there you go, your Aunt Jenny. So, thank you very much for being here today. And congratulations, and I look forward to seeing you soon. Thank you.